Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating a simple bubble effect. To start, we're going to go up to Composition, then New Composition, keep the same composition name, and use the NTSC DV preset. Doesn't matter about the duration, now click OK. Then, just resize it a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Then we'll go to Layer, New, Solid. Call this Solid Bubbles. Color doesn't matter, just click Make Comp Size. Then click OK. Then, in your Effects and Presets bar, type Foam. Drag the Foam effect to your solid. Then over here, now if we drag the preview bar, you'll see there's a lot of little blue circles that don't really look like bubbles. To change this, in the effects column, we'll go up to view and then rendered. Now if we drag the preview bar, you'll see it looks a lot more like bubbles. But as you can see, the bubbles are coming from the middle. Now we don't want this. So to change this, we click on our offset point and drag it to the top middle. Then we go over to producer and change the producer X size to the maximum which is 0 0.450 and the Y size to 0. Now as you can see if you slide the bar they're falling from the top. But if you see the bubbles are blowing slightly to the right. So to change this we click physics and go down to wind direction and change that to zero. Now you'll see they're falling a lot more like bubbles. And then if you also want to go to initial direction and change that to 180, it will look a lot more like falling bubbles. And also if you'd like to make your bubbles go upwards, then you can just drag the offset point down to the bottom and then change the initial direction to 90 and then change the wind speed to about 1. If you drag the preview bar you'll see your bubbles are now floating upwards. Also to change the look of your bubbles just close these up, go down to the rendering tab and then next to where it says default bubble click the arrow and you've got lots of different bubble presets like spit and my favorite nuclear waste yeah. so just muck around with it and have some fun and also if you'd like to put a background behind it go to project and then right click Go to import file and then just pick a background. We've got a nice under the sea one. And then just drag it underneath your bubbles composition. And then there you have it. Your bubbles are now in front of the background. So that is just a very simple way on creating a nice bubble effect. 